Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Naturally LJ and thank you guys so much for joining me in another video. I know some of you guys have probably been like, where's LJ been? You guys, I have just been taking a little break from recording videos, but I promise you more to come in 2019. First of all, let me welcome all of my brand new subscribers. Let me welcome my old subscribers back. Shout out to my two live crew. My two live crew is my Instagram followers that come in on my lives and we just discuss whatever the topic is for the day, whatever's going on for that day, that moment. Okay, you guys. So I wanted to come and do, oh, before I proceed into, I'm, see, I'm trying, y'all, I'm trying. I'm gonna try to do better in 2019. I know you guys love the long videos. I appreciate you guys because I have really helped. Whether someone tells me or not, I know I have, and you guys do. I have really helped someone on their natural hair journey, you guys, and I just appreciate you for appreciating my long videos. But you guys know I love to talk because I'm very, very detail-oriented. I'm like that in real life. Like, I'm very detail-oriented with everything. But I hope everyone had a happy holiday, a, a Merry Christmas. You guys, this is, tomorrow is New Year's Eve. So, of course, without further ado, before I lose my mind right quick, I wanted to go ahead and get into my some of my favorite things of 2018. Um, I had a couple DMs saying, LJ, are you planning on doing a favorite 2018 things before the end of the year? And at first I was like, mm, I don't know. But then I thought about it and I said, let me go ahead and just give it to the people. We're going to start from hair care products to skin care to some of you guys. I'm really beginning to branch out into makeup. Okay, so yeah, so definitely um, I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible. You guys probably already know before I show you some of the uh, products, I'm not going to get into details of, especially these hair care products, or any really, I'm not going to get into detail of anything, because if you watch my videos, if you're a true National LJ fan here on YouTube... Okay, you would know <laughs> how I feel about these products, but of course I wanted to come and just do a 2018, just going out with the, you know, going out with the old, and these will be my staple products in 2019. So let's just jump right in. This is in no particular order when it comes to the hair care products. Um, first of all, let's talk about Camille Rose. Camille Rose Naturals Homage Y'all Twisting Butter. And you guys, I really, really started using that late this year again because I've used it before. It has definitely been one of my favorites of this year, 2018. Um, the ending of 2018 gave me a, a bomb... Uh, bomb.com y'all know that's my favorite word hashtag bomb.com in the, in, the, in the comments y'all know bomb.com is my favorite word okay bomb.com twist out you guys if you have not tried this product I mean, I don't know what to tell you because y'all know I tell you all the time what, what you waiting on. You know what I'm saying? But definitely Camille Rose. I am going to talk about Kinky Tresses and I have some of the bigger products over here, but I just have the, the sample pack right here. This is the Restorative Conditioner. This is their Mango Coconut Mango Hair Butter. Um, What else? The Leave-In Hair Milk. And uh, I think this is a shampoo. Yeah, the shampoo. So basically, in other words, Kinky Trance's entire line, favorite of 2018, would definitely be a favorite of 2019, 2020, 21, 22, and 23. Yeah, 20, 2018 for Kinky Trance's is for going down in the books. For me, you guys, y'all know how I feel about this product. I have tons of videos using these this product. Definitely, thank you guys so much for the ones that said, LJ, I brought Kinky Tresses because of you. So definitely check out Kinky Tresses if you have not. So that entire line. So that's why I say I'm moving quickly. Moving quickly, moving swiftly, you guys. Um, the African Pride, you guys, even though I have not did a full review on that entire line, I have used their Honey and Coconut Oil Nourish and Shine Shampoo. And also, you guys, which this product is very, very inexpensive. And, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It smells heavenly, okay. And the other product by this line that I have used, and 
I mean, you can see, I have definitely used this product, you guys, is their um, Aloe and Coconut Water Detangle and Condition Pre-Shampoo. I've already made the decision if I don't use anything else from that line because I have the entire line. I just have not did a review on it, Bo. I'm sorry. And Miss Doritha, I promise. 2019, you never know what it's going to hold. But you guys, these two products right here are just, was 20, 2018, you guys. I absolutely loved them. Um, and I'm sorry if my lighting... Okay, I'm sorry if the lighting is a little on the cracker side. Okay, eyebrows on point. Okay, y'all. Anyway, don't mind me. But yeah. So yeah, if you have not tried these products, very inexpensive. This right here really helped with detangling my hair. Um, and I definitely should do a video on it. So definitely, I'm getting my planner together now. Videos I want to do because I still have tons of hair products, you guys. I have been doing well on my no buys. Y'all will be proud of me to know. It's been so much new stuff that's been dropping. And I'm just like, no, I'm sticking to my guns. If anything, I've brought, of course, my edge control because I've been out. And then my wild growth hair oil, which brings me to the next favorite of 2018, which I do owe you guys an updated um, of the nape of my hair. And I, that video will probably be coming by the end of this week, okay? But this is the wild growth hair oil. This is my second bottle. So I did, had to go, I did have to go out and buy another bottle of this, you guys. But this product right here... Has been a lifesaver. Um, I I seen I saw results um, using it and not even using it for the full thirty days. You guys just using it and I said I gotta get better, just better with using it, massaging it in my hair every single day. So definitely one of my favorites of twenty eighteen. Um, what else? Excuse me, y'all. I do have some water here that I'm gonna sip on. I'm sorry. One thing I can say too, y'all, this is just completely out of the box, but 2018 has really taught me a lot about drinking water. It's better, it's it's good for our skin, nails, hair, just the overall health of our body. So I just wanted to throw that in there. Water for 2018 has just really done something for me. The next um, line I'm going to get into, you guys, is the Baskin Bloom. Between kinky tresses, and like when I say entire lines, Kinky Tresses, um, mango, Baskin Bloom Mango. This is their shampoo bar. Let me, come on, light. I'll show. Okay, this is their shampoo bar, the uh, Razul and Bentonite Clay Shampoo Bar. And this is what I'm wearing a second day twist out right now using this product right here, Baskin Bloom Mango. You guys, my code has expired, but I did have a 20% off code on this entire line. Um, I had fun while I was the brand ambassador for a couple months for uh, Baskin Bloom, you guys. So my code has expired, um, and it also has expired as well with Kinky Tresses, but stay tuned. That's all I'm going to say. Can't say nothing now. Stay tuned. But anyway, you guys. Um, so definitely, this is the Mango Caster Twisting Cream. One of the best twist, absolute twist outs that I've ever done. Um, what else? Their leave in, their ease leave in, you guys. Very, very good product. So any of these products I'm mentioning, make sure you put it on your bucket list if you have not yet to try it out. Also, you know I want to talk to you guys in the comments below. Leave anything I've mentioned in this video down in the comments below. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you tried it. Let me know if it's one of your favorites of 2018 or just overall. And when I say 2018, I'm going to tell you right now, Kinky Tress is... Baskin Bloom, they're going down and just, they are my staples. I do branch out. I am a natural hair blogger to use and try other products. But when I say Holy Grails, staples, you pretty much, if you know LJ, you pretty much know. So yeah, like I say, this easy leave in. Um, what else? Oh, Cream of Nature for 2018. Definitely their Peerlicious Co-Wash. If you're looking for a great, inexpensive co-wash, this has been a lifesaver. This is probably my second bottle this year. But I I read, I very seldom co-wash my hair. But when I do, this is the best for my hair. It is the Peerlicious Co-Wash. You can maybe get this for... <coughs> Excuse me. You can maybe get this for maybe six bucks. One of the best investments that, you know, I think that 
you can make for your hair but anyway um tried this for the first time this year on the very first perm rock set you guys that i did with this and all i can say is if you follow me on instagram scroll back down and look at the pictures the perm rock sets it was some of it was i've, I've done two perm rock sets using this the best perm rock sets i've ever done and you guys know i'm not a huge fan of perm rock sets first of all it take me too long to do it and then second of all i'm just not a big fan but using this as long as this product is around yeah also along with this product was the twisting cream now i will have to say you guys because i told my two live crew i did i did i did go out and just buy one of these because i was doing a prime rock set for my cousin's wedding and was completely almost out of using these two together for a prime rock set so this is a brand new jar um because i was actually able to scrape you know how we are when we scrape it the bottom of the jar okay so yeah definitely these two worked like magic together for a perm rock set definitely will be in my 2019 regimen for perm rock sets when i get ready to do one so you i mean if you have not tried these two go get you some girl also you know when i do blow out my hair i definitely love uh cream of nature's argan oil heat protector smooth and shine blowout cream because i do periodically blow out my hair um and i want to make sure that my hair is protected i probably bought about three bottles of these maybe and i'm down low so i'll, I'll probably break my nobody just to get some of this but when i say not going out buying anything y'all this is what i exactly what i mean the new new okay like the new stuff that's everybody's dropping products like crazy i'm waiting the world natural hair show 2019 god willing is in april the last weekend in april i told y'all this ambulance sent it around here okay so y'all will hear ambulance in at least one of my videos god be with whoever that is that need help but yes yeah, seriously you guys um this is the this is my absolute favorite it's about time i can probably get about two more uses out of this but i know i'll probably end up getting some more when i say no buy i mean like some of this new stuff that's coming out i'm waiting and i'm sticking to my guns i'm waiting okay so um what else um the shine and hold control glue other than my you guys know how i feel about the main choice these are two of my favorite edge controllers that hold my edges down. I have type 4 hair, which is the kinkiest of kinks. And you guys, these two products hold it down. I can count on either one of them. Definitely favorites of 2018. I can count on to make sure my edges are intact. You already know that though. If you follow LJ, you already, you already know. Um... What else did I have back here? This is the Brahmi Root Hair Mask. Also, my favorite hair mask. Did not bring it over here, but it is the Algae Renew Deep Conditioner by um, Camille Rose. That is one of my 2018 favorites as well. But the Brahmi Root Hair Mask by um, Baskin Bloom, of course, is definitely one of my favorite hair masks. Because you guys, I have really gotten into deep conditioning my hair. I've really seen the benefits of making sure that I deep condition, take that extra 15, 10 to 15 minutes just to deep conditioner. It has definitely worked wonders on my hair, keeping my hair moisturized. Um, helping with just I have color in my hair so definitely just using a deep conditioner has really shown me in 2018 it's needed so I would definitely like to solicit to you guys definitely in your 2019 regimen try it you guys if it's not every week at least every other week please get you a good deep conditioner I talk about deep conditioners in some of my other videos go check them out to see what works best for you Okay, and I think that is all when it comes to hair products for 2018, when it comes to um, just just the bomb hair products for 2018 that was I'm going out with a bang. When it comes to all of these products, they will be in rotation in 2019 as well. We're going to jump right into skincare, you guys. And I'm going to definitely share with you guys, this is the Baskin Bloom. I have a video here. If you have not checked it out, go check it out. This is their, um, the Baskin Bloom, um purifying face cleanser i had never been one to really get into skincare because 
I didn't feel like I needed to. I just put warm water on my face, no soap or anything, and just put a Dollar Tree, this Derma Seal that I use from the, it's the Dollar Tree, and that's the lotion and moisturizer that I put on my face. But of course, when I was sent all of the products from Baskin Bloom, I was like, okay, why not try it out? So definitely check this video out. This is the balancing toner. So you wash your face spray it with this you know what i'm saying just to kind of refresh it and then you follow up with the vibrant radiance facial cream you guys so as you guys can see i've used this product i've done a video on it really really enjoy those products for 2018 and definitely will be carrying them with me into 2019 also i've been trying you guys a facial mask um and i got this mask kit and i actually got it for five dollars i have it's five of them in here. And this is by Shea Moisture. It's a face mask. It's the African Black Soap Clarifying Mud Mask, which one of them I used yesterday. The Raw Shea Butter Hydrating Mud Mask. The Coconut and Hibiscus Radiance Mud Mask. And the Coop cookie nut and grape seed oils youth infusion mud mask that's what i'm trying to get more into okay now that i've saw that you know okay lj you can do this with the skincare i tried to branch out and get some some more of these but i did get one single pack so if you're not if you're scared to buy like a pack like this just try one. I think Walmart sells them for like $2. Just try a mud mask on your face. I think you just leave it on for 10 minutes and just take a washcloth and wash it off. And my face, you guys, fell. Especially now that I'm branching out into more makeup. I definitely want to make sure that my skin is hydrated and feeling good and looking good. So definitely we'll be um, going into 2019 with these. Um, haven't opened this one up yet because I still had another African black soap that I use. And that's the thing about it. You can get at least two to three uses because you don't need nothing but a thin layer if you follow my instagram stories i had a mask on yesterday and you just do it it says like once or twice a week it's not an everyday thing just to give your face that extra tlc your skin that extra just you know come on now you know we got to keep ourselves looking good ladies and gents okay so the, other than that um what else my favorite favorite styling tool of 2018 you guys of course has been none other than the revlon pro collection salon one step hair dryer and salad you guys i do have a video on this product it has been a lifesaver as far as when i blow out my hair it has been an absolute lifesaver. So definitely check that video out let me know if you guys have tried this let me know what you think about it it's been a lifesaver. You have to watch it because the settings do get really hot, but go on a low setting and just tension match. Uh, not tension. I don't even have to tension anymore. I just rake this brush through my hair and it straightens my hair. And it's been one of the best inventions that that has come out for natural hair especially when you want to wear a stretch style. So you guys, other than the skincare, um, the skincare and hair products also, another one of my favorite styling tools have been this little brush that I pick up from my local beauty supply store, and it helps to lay. This is a styling, um, oh God, a styling tool. It lays, and when I put my edge controls on, it lays those edges down. It plays no game. So this is from this morning, and I haven't put anything on it. You can see that my edges are still just being laid to the gods. But anyway, so yeah, this is definitely one, another styling tool that I really, really enjoyed for 2018. And last but not least, you guys, we're going to talk about makeup. Just a little bit of makeup. I'm just going to talk about it just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, not a lot. Anyway, these are my um collections, and I do not even have all of the collection. I want a couple more palettes because they're beautiful. But yeah, this is the Juvia's Place. I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of Juvia's Place. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of their palettes. It's about three more that I want that I'm be done. Now I'm like, Juvia, stop coming out with all these palettes. If you have not checked Juvia, I'm not going to get into going. Now I will show you guys my favorite one or two. Okay. Or three. I'm just show you three. I'm just gonna show you just real quick. Um, they are just absolutely beautiful. They're very pigmented. And right now, if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me on it. Right now, they're having a 50% off sale. So you can get this palette if it's in stock for ten dollars. It's regular twenty. Okay, it's regular twenty. But is this not just absolutely okay? I want to drop it. Gorgeous. 
those colors absolutely just gorgeous i'm trying to can y'all see it yeah just gorgeous colors the zulu is one of my favorite the masquerade with the one of the absolute first and y'all gonna see a little bit of fallout because i've just been when i put my makeup on this is one of the this is one of my favorites because it was actually one of the very first um juvia place palettes that i bought from them you guys and it's just beautiful it's absolutely beautiful. And last but not least, and I haven't even used it yet. This is the Afro Q by Juvia's. Right now, $10. That's all I'm going to say. You do what you got to do with it, girlfriend. But yeah, um, just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous and beautiful colors, you guys. So yeah, um, BH Cosmetics, um, definitely their brushes. I picked up some of these brushes. And BH Cosmetics, you know, that's why I know God is in the best blessing business. Because they sent me two. They sent me two of them. And I'm going to just keep this second. This, sec this one hadn't even been open. But these are some of the best makeup brushes. I don't know. I may end up gifting them to someone. I don't know. Whatever God leads my heart to do. But yes, this is a 13-piece brush set. It comes with every kind of makeup brush you will need. Okay? We're not even going to get into that. But for 2018, you guys, I am branching more out into learning how to do my own makeup. I got my eyebrows down packed. I really want to learn how to do makeup. That's what I spend my most of my time doing now, looking at YouTube tutorials. Um, eyelashes. Okay. Walgreens had a good sale, you guys. Don't pick on me, okay? Walgreens had a good sale. And I'm just going to zip this up. This uh, this bag right here is full of... um. Don't pick on me, y'all, okay? Of eyelashes, okay? Because they were like two dollars, two dollars and twenty nine cent, two dollars and sixty nine cent. It's full of eyelashes, and you know what? Why not? Some of the good brands, y'all see the Ardell in there, um, the Kiss. You know, just the absolute beautiful eyelashes. Eyelashes is what I'm working on now and I'm doing really really good but I'm learning it takes time it takes patience you're not just gonna get it the first time now somebody might but eyelashes is something that I do want to be able to achieve like I'll be looking at these YouTube tutorials or these makeup artists and you guys they make it look so simple have you ever looked at something and say she does that so simple but I can't get it it takes time patience and practice for me I'm telling you you gotta practice on it now if you gotta high five but LJ still working. But I went out with my god brothers yesterday, you guys. And I think I spent about 15 minutes on just eyelashes. Makeup, you know, I I shadow. I'm doing it. I'm doing it with that. The blending, I'm doing that. It's about 15 minutes on just putting eyelashes on. It's not easy. For me, it's not easy. So definitely 2018, going out of 2018, 2019, y'all. This time next year, Lord's will. Honey, LJ gonna have the eyelash. Y'all know I'm gonna get it together. And last but not least, certainly not least, my favorite brushes. One of my lovely subscribers slash followers slash one of my little love bugs, uh, Naya. Shout out to Naya. Gifted me with the Juvia's Place brushes, you guys. I have been looking at these and just saying how I wanted them. And next thing I know, they showed up at my door. So I love you guys. I love you. Thank you again, Naya, so much. Oh, also, this is the this is the stimulating herbal oil, which is a good oil for Baskin Bloom. So that goes with that line, you guys. But yeah, so these are uh, my favorite brushes. I have, like I say, used the BH Cosmetics. I opened up the other one. Those brushes, there's no fallouts. The the bristles don't fall out. They're just really good brushes. So these are the two brushes that I'll be probably sticking with. I also have some Morphe brushes, which you guys know. If you guys know anything about makeup, Morphe is bomb.com. Where my water? Okay, so Morphe is bomb.com as well. So Okay, yeah, so that was good. Morphe is one of my uh, another one of my favorite lines for makeup and um you know what sometimes I'm gonna do my favorite lipsticks and this is it you guys this right here hands down this is the African matte by Juvia's Place y'all know I love me a good red also ColourPop 
So I'm just going to say ColourPop is one of my favorite lipsticks. The lipstick lines to go to I have. This bag is full of nothing but just lipsticks. Lipsticks and lip liners. And I'm not going to get into all of it. But um, this color came. I actually wore this to my cousin's wedding. If you follow me on social media. The black and red beautiful dress that I had on. This was the lipstick that I had on. When I tell you stayed on all day all day okay it's a matte color this is a lip gloss with like a shine kind of getting away from that unless it's my fenty balm the gloss balm which is <sighs> y'all if you have not tried rihanna's fenty balm i think it's fenty gloss balm i ain't talking to you no more i don't want to talk to you no more no, i'm kidding you guys gotta try it okay this is another red lipstick that i picked up you guys um, reddish burgundy-ish and it is absolutely gorgeous then this is another one because I'm into more of the reds and I really want to I have red like I was telling my two live crew when you put a red lipstick on you mean business you ain't playing with nobody anytime you see a woman with a red lipstick or a red matte lipstick or not a gloss but a red matte which is that dry look she not playing no games with you that's all I'm going to say. And y'all take it for what it's worth. But anyway, so yeah. Definitely as far as my lip care, ColourPop, I did get one. I just was interested in one from Juvia's Place. Their lipsticks are on sale right now. You guys go definitely check out ColourPop Cosmetics, um, BH Cosmetics, uh, Morphe, um, Juvia's Place. Y'all go check out. Those are some of my favorite. And in the description box, I will name and list everything that I've talked about from my favorite products. Um, and going out, going out with a bang. Skincare, not skincare for my face, but skincare. This is my absolute favorite. If you guys are in your city and your Bath and Body Works, they're doing the big old sale right now. If anybody goes to Bath and Body Works in their city, their state, and you see this, it's got to be the Vanilla Bean Noel. If you see this, Please DM me, email me, get in touch with me immediately. I will cash app you how much ever it is. Can't find it anywhere. Um, this is my favorite scent. Vanilla Bean Noel, Bath & Body Works, only comes out with it once a year. And it's around after the around no end of October-ish, november -ish. Y'all, I already know when they come out with it. So I said, Lord's will next year. I'm stocking up. But in your city right now, they're having that big old, you know, Bath and Body Works is doing that big old sale right now. If anybody, and it's, it has to be the body cream. I really don't care for the lotion. It has to be the body cream. If you find this, please DM me. I'll cash up you the money right there for and pay for the shipping for it to come to my house. You guys, this is what I wear all year round. I absolutely love it. I use it sparingly. I'll actually use something else in place of it just so I'll have some of it left over. So, yes, that is, these are all of my favorites of 2018. So, I did hair care, skin care, um, makeup. These are all of my favorites of 2018. I want to thank you guys again so much for rocking out with your girl. I love each and every one of you. Definitely stay tuned for 2019. I got some good things planned. I got some, definitely some reviews. As you guys can see, Taylor Beauty's bag is laying right here. I hadn't even touched it. So definitely stay tuned for 2019's video. I love you guys. If you have not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Okay, tell all of your friends about LJ, you guys. Anyway, I love you guys, and I will see you guys in my next video. And I just want to say Happy New Year to everybody. Happy New Year, because... It'll be after New Year when I come in, and I'll say it again, but I just want, if I don't, I just want to say Happy New Year to everybody. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!